All right, what's up everyone? Maury Croson here from The Performance Out of California and we have a excellent video for you today. It's not gonna be a breakdown. It's gonna be about the kinematic sequence and why is it important for QBs as well as for pitchers, but really it's a big focus on quarterbacks just because the sequencing is a little bit different from a pitcher in, in comparison to a quarterback. So what we're gonna go through here is a from head to toe, how your body should be moving. And what the kinematic sequence is, is if you understand the biomechanics side, so a kinetics, when we're talking about with kinetics, that's a force production, right? So power, things like that. When it talks about kinematics, that's more about ranges, where your body should be, what range your body should be in, and when should it be there. So when we're talking about the kinematic sequence, it's, it's really putting an emphasis on when your body should be in which places in order to make it so you're creating a large amount of force straight from the ground up through the ball and make it so you get rid of the ball with a lot of force, a lot of torque, and very, very smoothly. Okay, so once you're off with some of these sequencing, right, so if you open up the, the arm too early, you open up the hip too early, or if the ball's coming out not at the, at the right time with how everything's all syncing up, now every hundredth of a second that you lose and you're not on track with that sequence, it, it brings huge amounts of difference within your throat. So it's very similar to like the golf swing, right? If you're just a little bit off with how you end up sequencing everything together, then that's the difference between you hitting the ball straight and you being 40 yards to the right. Very similar here with the throw. You, if you sync everything up, you can be throwing the ball 65 yards. If you're not, you could be throwing the ball 35 yards or 20 yards or, you know, there's a, a big difference. And the people that throw the ball 65 yards plus, they have the right kinematic sequence. So, what that looks like is it's creating ground force first. So one of the important things is you gotta be able to push down to the ground. Immediately, once you push down the ground, if I'm here, right, I'm not pushed down the ground. If I push down the ground, this is where I'm at. I'm pushing my weight down the ground. From there, what you gotta be able to do is you gotta be able to pivot off the back leg. So the first thing that happens is the rotation from my knee down starts the movement process, okay? This is obviously after I took a step. The step could be how you, however you wanna step. Okay, now we're gonna get into that first movement there. So first the knee starts the rotation, the, the knee and below starts the rotation. After that starts to move, now that causes my hip to move. Okay, so that's step two, knee up, now that starts to move. Now that naturally creates a stretch in my core. Okay, so now what happens is, as my core starts to stretch, now I'm getting pulled here, so now my core starts to rotate. As my core starts to rotate and come through, now what should happen is my spine starts to rotate and come through. Okay, now as my, my, or my, my chest, my upper spine, right? So now that's coming through. So now here I'm core, now my upper chest coming through, and then after my, my chest starts coming through, now my elbow should be coming through. And then as my elbow should be coming through, I should be getting to the top point here. There's a lot of people that they're, they're here, they're not getting their, their back kinematic sequence. It's here, and then boom, you're finishing. One more time, I'm gonna go through it again. Rotation, knee down, then from there, Hips continue to rotate. Now you can see where I'm putting that stretch. Then once that, that stretch happening, now I start to rotate in my, my core. And then from there, I'll, I'll face you guys now. So now my core is starting to rotate. Now my, once my car starts to rotate, now my chest is coming through. Once my chest starts to come through, now my elbow's coming up over the top. Now once my elbow's coming up over the top, the ball should be right over here. Now I'm delivering the throw. Okay, so that should just be a sequence from the, the ground right up to the, to the throw, and then boom, you're letting it go. And that's how the whole sequencing should happen. And it should be timed up, you know, just boom, 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 boom. Okay, so what ends up happening is people will start stepping, and they already open up their hip, then they try to rotate here, and then they have to rotate here, or they'll go and they'll step, and they'll start to get stuff here, then they'll open up here, or they'll go and they'll go here, they won't get any core rotation, right, or they'll start to automatically shift, and then, so now they don't get any, any push here, okay, so there's a lot of things that'll end up happening in the kinematic sequence that throws it off, yeah, that, that's gonna be more of like a breakdown specific. That's why the breakdown is so important is so then we can really get you some understanding of exactly what is the area that you need to improve on. But if you can understand the baseline of the kinematic sequence, why I'm making this video is for the people that are actually in the program so they can understand what that should all look like that are in our throwing program, how it should all sync up and make it so then we, we're on the clarity here. But I wanna make it to it so it's available for everybody for free just to understand or to make it so you guys could all understand as well what that should all 
Um, how, how can you throw? How can you perform? How can you be the best, best quality quarterback that you could be? And, and again, once you're in the program, then you could really connect to you know, what we're talking about and, and, and really apply this to our whole learning process and, and filling out the forms and making it so everything you know, ends up progressing you through the, the throw. But I, I hope for, for everybody they're able to take something away from this and, and understand what it is that you need to be working on. I mean, the big thing is to, to, at least for the performance lab, we believe you gotta learn the skill. You have to actually understand what you're doing as a quarterback in order to maximize your performance. It's not gonna be just a thing that you can just, you know, kind of understand or get parts and pieces of it. This is something that you have to be able to dive fully into in order to really take your game to the, to the next level and really be able to improve as a quarterback. We believe that, you know, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Matt Ryan, those guys take their mechanics very, very seriously and they know a lot about how their body should be moving. That's why they get the results that they do and they can do it unconsciously and, and can, don't even have to think about it. Just boom, ready to just get the right type of sequencing, get the right force action and that's why we want you to be able to understand what that should, should look like and also again, really put a lot of time, energy and effort into making sure that you're learning the, the information the way that you should. We'll talk to you guys soon. I guess if you're interested, you can sign up for the, the whole seven day thing. We have a video, we have a forum. Click on the link, go ahead and get set up. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, you can subscribe down below and that way you can get updates on any of the new videos that we get. Also, if you want to, you can check out some of our other breakdowns for speed and throwing. We have exercises, also jumping mechanics videos, a lot of great stuff within our channel. Hope you enjoy.